Hey, Frank. Hey. How's it going, man? Everything good? Yes. Everything good. Nice. Uh, yep. Good to hear that. So, how was your day, man? Uh, I was doing uh, the platform. <laughs> how far have you gotten into the platform? Uh, better in this, this topic uh, for today. All right, nice man, nice. All right, so yes. so how do you feel so far? Um, well, uh, I think that I have learned some some you new know, topic in a different way. How to nice. use it? Nice, nice, nice. Give me one second, man. All right. Um, I'm I'm sorry. What do you ask me? Ah mm, uh, no. How about your day? My day. My day was great. Um, pretty busy. Super super busy. Because of the university and my other job. You know, it's been really busy. All right, man. So so what about your job? Uh, I know that you. You quit, right? So, where? What's uh? What's next? What's you know? What's the plan? Uh, for now, I am uh, fixing cell phones uh, as before, like you know that about me, and I'm focused in that. Just maybe I want to improve the business. <laughs> All right. Well, if that's what you want to do, that's great. Um, anyways, I'm glad to see you here, man. Rafael, how's it going, Rafael? And then, teacher, everything fine, teacher. Well, good, nice, nice. How was your day? Very good. We're we're going to a to an office celebration this afternoon. Nice. You mean to the Cerro Verde to see the oh, volcano? Oh, you went. Oh, yes, nice. I went. Nice. And how do you it like it nice. up there? I'm sorry. Right. I said, how do you like it up there? But you already answered. Yeah. All yeah. right. Nice. Nice. I. Uh, that's great. I, I recommend the trip. I. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna have. Uh, we're actually going out with our team a couple yes. of days from now. Oh, okay. Um, a couple of days from now. So, so you know, we'll. we'll I'll get to experience that what you experience too so all okay. right i hope you, you do thank you i hope to uh i hope to too you know <laughs> marcos uh how are you marcos is everything great hi david good evening everything good great how are you i'm good man i'm good thanks for asking all right david welcome david good to see you again nice haircut i guess that's the haircut i'm gonna get myself because i might my hair is long right now. Uh, nice. and, Very and short. Nuri. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna get. Uh, Nuri, how's it going, Nuri? Good evening, teacher, guys. Good evening. Um, I'm okay, thank you, teacher. All right, uh, Adrian, Alberto, welcome, guys. Welcome. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get started. Hello. So yesterday, guys. Yesterday we were talking about stative verbs, right? So what are stative verbs, guys? Did we all understand what the uh, what stative verbs are? David, what are stative verbs, David? Yeah. Honestly, I, I don't know. All right, that's okay. I, uh, Adrian, what are stative verbs? Uh, just to rephrase, I think it's something that is not alive. It's something that... Um, like opinions, like uh, like mood. Very and, good. Uh -huh. And it depends on the situation. It could be in ing form, but no. Um, but it depends what what you're trying to say. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, all right. That you're very close to the the actual definition. Very good, Alberto. What are 
stative verbs? The stative verbs are words that we tend to use in order to express an emotion, a feeling. It cannot be conjugated in ing form. We use it mostly to express like opinions, right, feelings, and different perspectives that we have based on that. Good job, brother. Yes, guys, stative verbs are verbs that do not represent an action, okay? They represent a feeling, belongings, you know, some verbs, guys, can be both, you know, both, you know, stative verbs and action verbs as well, right? All right, so keep that in mind, okay? So uh, today's objective, guys, in today's objective, um, we're going to see, guys, how to use have and get plus something else to talk about uh, to describe a service performed by somebody else. OK. All right. So that's what we're going to be looking into today. OK. So first thing, guys, OK, um, let me help me, help me, help me. Uh, Marcos, would you please help me read the first exercise? Sorry, we are not seeing your screen. Oh, you're not. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Jeez. All right, there you go. OK, we're up. Have you ever had someone do something for you? Let's practice. Very good. Begin. Okay. Hold on. Give me one second there. Thank you. All right. So that's the first exercise. Okay. Have you ever had someone else do something for you guys? Okay. I don't know. Guys, who has a who has a uh, who has a younger brother or sister? Who has a younger sibling, guys? Monica, hello, Monica. Do you have a do you have a younger sibling? Yes, I have. Yes, I do. No, yes, I have. Yes, I do. Very good. Uh, how old is she or he? She is uh, 23 years old. She's 23. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, so let me ask you something. You know, usually all, all younger brothers, we make them do things for us, right? right? Have you ever had your sister do something for you? No. <laughs> No, really? Oh my really? God, you, you're a really good sister. <laughs> All right, no, you know, you're not, you're not the stereotypical sister, okay? I need the stereotypical sister or brother here. All right. Uh, Rafael, what about you? Do you have a younger brother or sister? Yes, I do. I have a, a younger brother. Uh, did, so did you well, ever get him to do something for you? Did you ever, you know, give them orders to do things for you? You mean like, like my slave? <laughs> like your slave, yes. <laughs> yeah, we, we, when we were younger, we were, he is uh, six years, uh, how do you say? Younger. Uh, younger than me. But uh, yes, I, I well, it happens with my with my with my kids. My 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 older uh, son do the same thing with with my younger son with with, that, with her younger brother. <laughs> right. Okay. Yes. That's that's the same thing. No, yes. dude. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Very well, good. Mm -hmm. No, my, my actually my I I I asked for 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 help from my brother today to 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 take me. To, to deliver my my suit to the dry cleaning. Oh, okay. I, I, guess, I don't know if, if it can be an example. All right, very good. Okay, yeah, that 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 actually can be a, an example. Um, a very good example, actually. Okay, so guys, here's the thing. Okay, so if you have a, a younger brother, guys, uh, most likely you had that person do something for you. Okay, and this is how we can use get, guys, or have. Okay. Take a look at the first question. Adrian, could you please help me read that question? Do you know where I can get someone cut my hair? Okay, very good. Do you know where I can get someone, okay, all right, someone to cut my hair or someone cut my hair, all right? Very good. Now here, guys, okay, all right, where can I get someone to cut my hair, guys? 
right? So the answer, guys, okay, I'll give you an example, right? The answer could be you, you can have your hair cut by the barber, okay? Got it? Or you can say, guys, you can have your barber cut your hair. Okay. What would be another example, guys? We get or have. You can say, uh, let's say, hey, where can I get my clothes clean? Uh, where can I get my, my clothes um, cleansed, guys? You can say, you you um, can have your clothes or your clothes uh, is it cleaned uh, the alright how do we call the place where we can wash our clothes guys right at the laundry all right, the laundry, right? Very good. All right. All right, what if, I, what if I talk about my brothers, okay? Tell me something that you made your brother do for you, Rafael. Uh, to pick up my suit and, and deliver it to the dry cleaning. Very good, okay, All right? So you can say, guys, you can even talk in the past, right? I had my brother pick up my suit and delivered, right? Uh, I had my brother pick up my suit and deliver and delivered it to me. All right. All right, so you can say, I have my brother pick up my suit. Oh, I'm sorry. This will be, guys, delivery to me, okay? All right, and you're speaking in the past, guys, okay? So there are two actions here, guys, but you had someone else do something for you guys, okay? And this is the reason why, guys, you can use get and you can use have, guys, to talk about, you know, somebody else doing something for you, all right? All right? All right, I know it seems kind of confusing right now, guys, but we'll get to the bottom of that, okay? All right, very good, guys, so... Uh, help me read, Monica. Over here. Okay. Today, let's have a took look. <laughs> look. Let's have a look. A right? Two ways we use the auxiliary verb have in English grammar. You can have your watch repaired or have someone repair your watch. Simple, right? Well, today I will show you. But and this grammar, I don't know. Patterns. patterns. Okay, patterns. patterns. Good job. Okay. okay. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. So, all right. So, there are two ways, guys, in which we can use this. Okay. So, first example. Um, help me read, Nuri. I want to have my watch repaired. I want to have my watch repaired. Okay. All right. Notice the structure here, guys, okay? All right, you know that you, who's gonna repair your watch, guys? Are you gonna repair it? Or is someone else going to repair it? Someone. Someone else. Someone else, right? So someone else is gonna repair the watch for you, okay? So you can say bye, you know, and you can add the person here, right? But we're skipping that, okay? So notice something, guys, okay? We're using half. We're using the object of the sentence, guys, okay? The object in grammar, guys, okay? And we're using, what is this, guys? Past participle. Okay, we're using a past participle, right? All right, so we're using a past participle here, okay? Take a look at the second example, Jenny, all right? Let's read the second example. You can have your hair cut at that barbie for just ten dollars ten dollars okay very good okay all right 
you can have your hair cut at that barber shop, should say barber shop for just the nutters, okay? But notice something, guys, okay? We have have. And what is the object of the sentence here, guys? Guys, you can have your hair cut at the barber shop for just ten dollars. What is the object of the sentence here? Have your hair cut. Barber shop. All right, your hair cut, guys. Okay, your hair, your hair. This is the object. All right, we have the subject, right? Subject. Okay, we have have guys, and we have the object of the sentence here. Okay. All right, and then we have this is what guys cut. What is that? Bear. That is the verb in what? Past, past participle. Past participle. Okay, whatever. All right. Very good. Number three, Maylin. Uh, Helen Marie, number three, Maylin. I think I will have to house paint, paint it this fall. Very good. Again, guys, see? We're using these guys in simple present, right? We're using this in simple present now. We're using this, you know, in simple future, right? But again, guys, what is one thing that we have in common? Have, and then where is the object of the sentence? House painted. The house, painted. the house, guys, the, the house. house, not the house painted, okay? The house, okay? And then we have the verb in past participle, right? PP, okay? <clears throat> All right. So this is that, guys, okay, All right? So if we take a look at the pattern, guys, okay, let me pull out the whiteboard, okay? So we have, all right, so we have, hold on. Okay, so we have pattern, pattern one, right? So pattern one, guys, this, Let's go over the structure, okay? So you have, actually I should have done it like this, pattern one, okay? So pattern one goes like this, guys, okay? So you have the subject, all right? Then what else do we have, guys? Have. All right, so we have the subject, then we have right so then we have uh no okay you plus now let's focus on simple present okay right you can say guys you can say want to or you can say can all right or you can say uh let's let's focus on these two okay and then what else do we have We could also use could, have. right? All right, we have have guys, okay? That is the one thing that we have in common, right? Okay, so after this, we have the one thing that we share in common here, okay? So you have, have, okay? Now, can I say has guys? What do you think? Can I say has? Yes. Yes. Hmm, really? Are you 100% sure guys? How could you use have or has? Oh. Give an example with has, guys. Let's see if it's possible. So I can she say. Has. She wants to has. She has. She wants to has. Can I say she wants to has, guys? No. She oh, wants no. to have. Guys, uh, you're never, ever, guys, going to use anything else, guys. Other than after the after the preposition two guys, you're never gonna use anything else other than their base form of the verb. Okay, it is possible to use a gerund, but that's another topic. Okay, but other than that, guys, you're never gonna use a verb in the past or a verb in third verb, third person. Okay, all right, because this is an auxiliary. Okay, this is always have guys. Okay, always, always, always. When you guys? So when are always. you? Gonna so when, are, so when are you gonna use when are you gonna use has in this case, guys? Never. Okay. Never, exactly, right? Never. All right. That is the right answer. Okay. All right. And then we have. Okay, so 
then we have, you can have, you know, now we need the object of the sentence, guys, okay? The object, okay? Obviously, guys, the object is not a real object. It refers to the object of the sentence, okay? Either a pronoun or a noun, okay? That's what it means. Got it? All right. Or, or, or a, uh, a phrasal noun, you know, a noun composed of multiple words, for example, right? Then after this, guys, what do we have? What are we, what are we missing here? Verb. Verb. Verb in what form? Past participle. Okay, then we need a verb in past participle. Guys, are you writing this down? All right, I'm gonna ask you guys, okay? So you need to give me the right answer, all right? All right, the verb in past participle, okay? All right, and then what else do we need? Complement. All right, now usually guys, this is optional, right? But you can say by, right? You can use by, got it? By, and then you can say a compliment, right? All right. And there you go, guys, okay? So this is the structure. Let's take a look at the example, okay? All right. So what will be the example, guys? All right, you give me the examples, guys, okay? Uh, Jenny, right? Give me a subject and, 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 and tell me if you want to use want to or can't. Uh, she can have. Okay, so she, all right, and then you say she, and then you said can what? Have. Guys, can we use, when do we use has, guys? Never. Never. Never, Never okay. All right, she can, so what will be the right have. answer? She can have, okay. Mm -hmm. She can have, very good. All right, so let's use have, all right? Mm -hmm. So she can have, and then what else? Um, she can have. Um... Alberto, uh, help us, Alberto. Thank you, Jen uh, Jenny. Mm -hmm. She can have what? Her new her style. Okay, let's use, let's talk about other other another thing, guys. Okay, something that is not your hair. Okay, think about another object of the sentence. Her cell phone. She can have her cell phone. Okay, she can have her cell phone. All right, very good. Um, Adrian Pacheco. All right, what should we? Continue doing here. She can have her silver one. Mm, repair. Very good. Okay, so she can have the silver repaired, right? Very good. Okay. Now here, guys. Okay, you need a compliment, right? Or you can just but you can refer to someone. She can have her the, her cell phone repaired, and I need a compliment. What compliment should we give it here, uh, David? What compliment should we give it here? Uh, next week. All right. She can have her health cell phone repaired next week. I like that. Okay. Next week. See? Very good. Good job, guys. All right. Applause for you guys. Okay. You made your first sentence here. Okay. Very good. Do you want another example? Or do you think this is clear? Another, another example. Okay. Very good. Monica, give me another example. Okay. Tell me the name of your favorite actor. Chayanne. By the way, Cheyenne is not a, I was gonna say Cheyenne is not an actor, but okay, right? Let's go with Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne. <laughs> right, so let's go. Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne. All right, Cheyenne, and then uh, you wanna, you can use, let's use want to, okay? So how will you use want to here, Monica? Okay, want to. Want to, are you sure? Want to? No, want, have to. 
no. No. Ay, no. Ah. Cheyenne is third person. Ay. Okay. So what should we what should we say here? Okay. Can? No. No, let's want. use let's use want to, but it, remember, Cheyenne is third person. Want. Wants with an S at the end. Mm -hmm. Wants to, okay, very good. Chan mm -hmm. wants to. Yeah. And then what else? Have. Wants to have. Very good. He's. Uh, he's what? He's um, a house. His house, very good. What else? Paid. 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 Okay. All right, so Cheyenne wants to have his house paid. Very good, okay? Good job. Plus for Monica, guys. Well done. All right? Super good job, okay? So Cheyenne wants to have his house paid, okay? All right, very good example. Okay, notice that we didn't need any other compliment here, guys. I mean, you could, but it's, in this case, guys, it's optional, right? It depends on the context, okay? Depending on the context, guys, you might want to use um, you want you might want to use a, um, a compliment or not. Okay, do me a favor, guys. I want everybody to send me three examples. Okay, actually, guys, I want three examples in your notebook, and then I'm gonna ask each of you. Okay, let's go, guys. Give me three examples in your notebook. Okay, either using can or want to, guys. Okay, use third person too. Let's go. All right, very good, guys. So uh, let's see. What example do you have? Uh, David, give me one example. He wants to have a new car paid at the end of this year. OK. Uh, you say he. He wants. He wants to have uh -huh. a, a new, new car, car paid, paid at, at the end. The end. Oh, all the year okay very good all right hold on let's all right very good so he wants to have a new card paid at the end of the year okay now this is co co correct guys okay however all right 
uh, we're not talking, guys, about uh, doing somebody else doing this action for you, okay? I understand why you gave me that, that answer, and it is correct, okay? It is grammatically correct. However, we need to give, uh, I need the example, guys, to be some, another institution, guys, or somebody else doing something, doing this for you, okay? But, but good job, David, okay? The, the, the structure is correct, okay? Nuri, what do you have, Nuri? Mm. I want to have my car clean. My car what? Clean, clean. Cleaned, okay. Clean by the car wash. At the car wash. Okay. All right, or you can say by the people working in the car wash, okay? Monica, what do you have, Monica? She wants to have a party organized this week. She this wants week. to have what? Party. A party, party, huh? Organized. Organized. Organized, okay. Uh huh. This week. This week, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, okay. This week, okay. Very good, okay. So somebody else is going to do this action, right? Uh, Alberto, what do you have, Alberto? Oh, uh, the teacher can have the assignments completed by its students. The assignments completed by students. This is a perfect example, okay? Good job, all right? Uh, very good. Let's see what else. Uh, Adrian, what is your example, Adrian? One he wants to have his car painted by the end of the week. His car painted, all right, let's say by Cheyenne, okay? So we can infer okay. that you're doing like somebody else doing the action, okay? Very good, um, good job. Rafael Mayen, what do you have? My wife wants to have the Christmas tree set. Very good, so my wife wants to have the Christmas, okay, I'm just gonna spell like this, tree set. Set. Okay, very good. Uh, Marcos, what do you have, Marcos? My boss wants to have the report finished by tomorrow. Early. My boss wants to have the, okay, wants to have the report finished by tomorrow, right? Very good. Uh, Jenny. She wants to have her bicycle sold next Monday. He wants to have, very good, her, uh, his bicycle, bicycle sold by Monday. Very good. Good job. Uh, Francisco, what do you have, Frank? I want to have a mug of coffee poured by 3 p.m. A mug of coffee, okay, for by 3 p.m. Okay, you always give me strange examples, man. This you're following the structure, but this doesn't really make sense, okay? All right, uh, you need to change the structure here. I want to have <laughs> no, man, I want to have. You can say, I want to have coffee poured into my mug by 3 p.m., okay? All right, this this is the right answer, Frank, okay? The other answer didn't make sense, all right? Um, the, you were following the structure, though, so that's good, okay? Alberto Marin, what is, what's, what's your example? Again. Uh... Let's say like I want to have the dishes clean. Clean. All right, very good. So that's okay. That's all right. You're not gonna give any compliment. Very good. Alejandro Escobar, what is your example? 
Uh, I want to have a, a hamburger by no. mm -mm. Friday. That is incorrect, guys. If you say, I want to have a hamburger, okay, by Friday, what, tell me why is this incorrect? I mean, the, search, the, the sentence is correct, guys, but we are not talking about have, guys. Okay, we're not talking about have. As, he's as doing a, by his phone. Exactly, right? I want to have a hamburger, and then you need something else. By is not a verb, Alejandro. I need a verb now, a verb in, in past participle. So you're missing the, the, the part, this part of the structure here. Eat it. Okay, now you can, all right, listen to this guys. You can say this, right? I want to have a hamburger eaten, but then who's going to eat the, the hamburger? Are you, gonna, are you going to eat the hamburger? If I say guys, I, I want to have a, a hamburger eaten, am I the one eating the, ham, the hamburger? By my some, sister. Exactly, by my sister, right? This is such an, such an strange example, guys. Because I would never, if I had an hamburger, I would never have my sister have it instead of me. <laughs> no, uh, this is such a weird example, guys, because nobody says like, quiero tener una burguesa comida por mi hermana. See, that sounds so weird, right? Got it? I mean, it is correct. The example is correct, guys, but it doesn't really make sense. Okay, so, but if we say, I want to have a hamburger, guys. This is not correct because this has nothing to do, guys, with, you know, having someone else doing do, do something for you, okay? All right, but very good, okay? Did you get that, Alejandro? Yes, I get that. Okay, very good. Uh, uh, Maylin, all right, what's your example, Maylin? Roberto wants to have his toy repaired by me. His toy repaired by me. Beautiful example. Beautiful. Good job, Meli. Kathy, give me your example, Kathy. Kathy, Katie. Kathy Carranza. I want to have my homework done. Okay, so I want to have my homework done. Okay, all right, you could say that. Okay, good job, guys, okay? Well done, guys, and applause for you guys. Beautiful job, okay? Good job. All right, questions here, guys. What do we use this structure for? Who can, help, who can answer that question for me? What do we use this structure for, guys? When I want to say an action that is, uh, that is done for an, another person that is not me. All right, an action that is done by another person that is not you. Got it? All right, very good. By another person, guys. Okay, good job. Good job. Okay, very good, guys. And the second pattern, guys, is someone, all right, have plus someone plus the verb plus the object. Okay, check this out, guys. Okay, this is the second example. Um, David, help me read this, David, and then uh, Jenny, you help me read the examples, okay? So, David, uh, help me read this right here. Okay. Have something done. The second pattern is have plus someone plus verb plus object. We use the pattern we when, when we want to focus on the person doing the action. Here are some examples. Here are some examples. Thank you very much. Okay, Jenny. What are the examples, Jenny? I want to have both repair my wash. Watch. Can wash. Okay. Uh -huh. um, you can have the baby cut your hair. He only charged $10. I think I will have Jack paint the house this fall. He does a great work. He does a great. Okay, right. I don't know what happened to, he does a great work, okay? All right, very good. Anyways, guys, so, all right, let's go back to presenting this, okay? Now, notice, guys, notice there is something different here. 
Can you tell me, guys, what, what you see different here? We, we use these guys to talk about the same thing, okay? But what is different here? We have names of the person that is doing the thing. Very good, okay? First of all, you have, okay, you know about who is doing, right? I mean, in the other structure, guys, it is possible to mention the person who is doing the action, right? We use it at the end when we say by Cheyenne, right? All right, I am, all right, I am, um, I want to have, you know, Cheyenne, I want to have a song sung by Cheyenne, okay? All right, you can say something like that, right? But in this case, guys, I want to have, and then guys, we do not have the object of the sentence, okay? All right, well, we do have the object of the sentence here, guys, but we have the person, okay, the someone, See, so remember guys, what happened in the previous example, guys? Do you remember what was different in the previous example? The object. All right, right there. so you have the, the subject, right? All right, and then want to, right? Let's say want to, right? And then have, okay, this so far, this was right, right? But then guys, okay, we had, I want to have my car, okay? We had a different object, not the someone guys, okay? So we had this part. So it was one, two, three, four. Remember, I want to have my watch, my watch, and then repaired. Do you remember that? It is repaired by Bob. And this was number six. Do you remember? Right? So yeah. that, that is the difference, guys. Now you have one, two, three. Bob, guys, is the someone, okay? Someone is the position number four, okay? And then, guys, what happens to the verb, guys? Is the verb in past participle now? No, it's no, no, it, no. It is, it is in the present. All right, it is in the present, guys. Okay, it is in the present. Okay, so now, guys, instead of using want to or have, guys, I want to use guys get or have. It is the same thing. Okay, get or have. All right, you can use either or. All right. Maybe so, tell me. Um. In, in that in the first example i want to have Bob repair my watch uh, it shouldn't be i want to have Bob repairs my watch no why not because um because it's uh th this is what we call guys okay when we talk about get guys or or this right here the structure dude is like that okay because we're already talking, guys. After this, guys, how can I explain this to you guys? That, that's a very good question, by the way. Because the only answer for that, guys, is that you have to follow the structure, OK? All right. All right. What and there's a relation, the, guys, the but... question? Hold on, All right? And we are not using third person. That, that is actually the best question that somebody could have asked, could have asked OK? I'm sorry, guys. All right, when you talk about having someone, guys, okay, don't ask about the why, guys. It's just, that's the way it is, okay? So let's talk about the pattern too, all right? Okay. All right, so the pattern too, guys, is, right? We have the subject. What else do we have, guys? Guys, subject. One, one, two, one. Okay. one. Okay, get or have. We're gonna use get or have now, just because you can use one, two, guys. It doesn't matter, okay? But we're gonna focus now on what get or have, okay? By the way, you can also use get, guys, in the previous example, in the pattern number one. Got it? Okay. So in el primer, in los primeros ejemplos que les diga es del pattern one, pueden usar get también, okay? All right? Or or one, two, whatever, okay? Okay, it doesn't matter, okay? But we're going to focus on this, okay? So we have the subject, and then we have what? What else, guys? There. Subject. Okay, we, no, 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 no. Here, someone. we need someone, okay? We need the someone, okay? Okay. And then, what else? There. There. Okay. All right. So then we have guys the 
verb, okay? Verb in base form, all right? And then what else do we have? So okay. I, okay. So I have, I have, um, or I got Michael, right? Or I have Michael. I'll have Michael repair my motorcycle, okay? Or I'll get Michael to repair my motorcycle, okay? All right. So these guys, by the way, okay, you can use the various form of the verb or you can use an infinitive here, okay? It depends, okay? Here's the, here's the difference, guys, when you're going to use an infinitive, okay? All right. An infinitive, remember, guys, it is two plus the very, the very, the base in the form, right? Two plus the base form. Do you remember that? All right. So here's the thing. When you use get, guys, you're going to have an infinitive. When you use have, you're going to use just the base form of the verb, okay? All right. So don't forget that. Get, infinitive, have, base form of the verb. Got it? All right. Very good. All right, and then what else do we need, guys? Object. Okay, then after this, guys, we need the object we are referring to, okay? So, for example, you can say he, he gets, right? Now, notice, guys, that the subject is the one that changes here, right? He gets. And because this is to answer your question, okay? Because we're using an object, the object of the sentence here, that's someone, right? That someone is not the one, you know, uh, that will modify the verb, okay? That's why you need to use it in, in, in base form, okay? It's like saying, can you help me? Or can he help me? Why do we say, can he help me instead of can he helps me. Got it, Francisco? All right. So it's the same thing, right? It's like work, is it it's working like an auxiliary? Okay. So you can have guys, he uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Okay. So he and then we have get. And then we have, uh, he gets, guys, I'm sorry, right? He gets his wife. All right, and then give me a verb, guys. Give me an infinitive, okay? We need to use an infinitive, okay? He gets his wife, then what? Okay, he gets to do his wife to... All right, to fix, okay, let's use to fix or to cook, guys, whatever, right? But let's let's be, you know, let's not be sexist, okay, right? To fix, okay, he gets his wife to fix. And then we, we need, guys, okay, here we need the, uh, the object we're talking about. To fix what? A fridge. Okay, very good. He is fridge, guys, okay? Okay, he gets the, his wife to fix his bridge, okay? Got it? And we can also say, guys, we could also say he, all right, he gets, right? And then we have his wife. And then here, guys, I'm, I'm sorry, not gets, guys, has, has, okay? He, um, has okay he has his wife what should i use an infinitive here no, fix no okay no, just fix. the main the, the base form of the verb okay okay so he has his wife fix okay so this would be fix and then we use the same complement here which would be his fridge okay got it guys that is pattern number two, okay? So do you see the difference, guys? In, in pattern number two, guys, you're always gonna mention uh, whoever may the, uh, perform the action, got it? All right, 
Let's do something else, guys. Okay, right? You guys. Maybe. Tell me. Sorry, I have a question. It is hard for me to understand without the. He needs or he wants to. All right. What do you mean? Can we use it uh, uh, before the get or has? All right. We didn't. We, we didn't talk about need. Okay. We're not gonna use need. Okay. But. Okay. Uh, but you can use. You can use. You can use that, that example. You can say he, you know, he wants to, right? He wants to, um, he wants to, but there, if you do, do this, dude, you would need to say he wants to have his wife okay. fix his fridge. Got it? So then the structure and changes. With here. get, only get. If you say get, uh, you already have so, an example with get. No, no, he want he wants to get his wife to fix. Yeah, you yeah you would use it like that. Okay, he wants he wants to get his wife to fix. Okay, so you know the the the, the rest of the structure, right? Yes, it is okay. possible to use it like that. Okay. However, when you say wants to, now in this example, guys, in this context, okay, if you use it like this, you're talking about wishes. Okay, like you're wishing something. Got it. No, like you're giving her a command. When you use he has or he gets, he's giving a command. He's not wishing, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. When you say want to, it's like yo quiero. Y aquí no estoy diciendo yo quiero. Aquí yo le estoy dando un comando. All right. So it says, it says here, el hace, right? El hace que su esposa repare la, el refrigerador. Got it? Eso es lo que dice literalmente. All right. Yeah, the first example, what's mean? That that's example. That's 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 what it means. I just said it. It's the same thing. They both mean the same thing, guys. Mm. Right? It's, guys, do not try to translate it because it doesn't have a translation. If you translated it, guys, all right, it would say, Él obtiene que su esposa repare el refrigerador. Nobody mm. talks like that in Spanish. Got it? Do not translate, okay? Because if you translate, it doesn't make sense. All right? If you wanted to have a close translation, guys, it would be like, Él hace que su esposa repare el refrigerador. Got it? Both of them would mean the same. Los dos significan lo mismo. Got it? Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So before we leave, guys, okay, do we have any question? I don't have a question. And um, can I have more example? More examples. Yes, more example, please. More examples. <laughs> examples. Very good. Yes, Please. guys. Uh, yes, we're actually gonna. I have a game for you guys, but we're not gonna have time to play it today. We're gonna have uh, practice tomorrow, guys. Okay, I only have two minutes, but yeah, uh, you can say, guys. Actually, you give me an example, Malin. Follow the structure. You you give me an example. He? Subject. Okay, he. All right. What else? Get or have. Has. He has. Very good. What else? Someone. His brother. His brother. Very good. All right. Verb in base form. Remember, we're using have. So basic base form. Guys, everybody do me a favor. Everybody write down one example we get and one example we has right now, guys. Okay. Before we leave. Mailing, continue. Clean. Very the good. House. Very good. Okay. You got it. Perfect example. Perfect. Okay. All right, he has his brother cleans his house, okay? All right? Very good. Do not translate it, guys, okay? This is just saying, you know, All right? El hace que su hermano limpia la casa, right? Same thing, right? Do not translate it, okay? All right, two examples, guys, okay? One and one. Uh, very good. Uh, Jose Chicas, give me one example. Yeah. He has. He, he has his. Uh, my mother. He has his mother, you mean? His mother. Uh, uh, cooking. No, he has his mother cook. Yeah, ah, perdón, he has his mother cook. Uh, Dinner. Very good. Okay. He has his mother cook dinner. Very good. 
Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Let's turn down the volume of Pasión de Gavilanes, please. All right. And then... <laughs> All right. We can hear Pasión de Gavilanes in the background. All right. Very good. Uh, Marcos. All right. What's your example, Marcos? My dog gets me to walk him twice a day. Very good. My dogs. I like that example. My dogs gets me to walk him every day. Good job. That example I loved. Okay. Thank you, Marcos. That was beautiful. David, give me one example. My dog, actually, it's <coughs> my dog. Uh, yes. I, I, yeah, only one dog, right? Only one, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, she gets. She gets. She gets her dog to play with his band. To play with his band. His bond. Bond. Uh -huh. okay, very good. Bond. All right, very good. Uh, Nuri, give me one example. Mm, I get my husband cooks for me. My husband what? Cooks. Cook for me. Very good. Is that true? <laughs> yes. Yes. He's okay. chef. He's a, he's a chef, okay? He's a chef. Chef, not chef, chef. Chef. <laughs> Very good, okay, good job. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Maylin, all right, give me your example, Maylin. Oh no, you gave me, you gave me one, right? But if you wanna give me another one, go ahead. He has my sister. Mm -hmm. Bring him study. food, okay? He has my sister bring him food, okay, right? Very good. Uh, let's see, Rafael, may, 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 Mayen, uh, give me one example. Um, uh, she, she gets his younger son to bat her doll. To what? To bat. Oh, to bat. To bat her, her doll. dog, okay. All right, very good. Uh, Monica, give me one example. She gets her husband pay the bills this month. He's, okay, remember guys, when you use get, you need an infinitive, okay? Two, two, two. Okay, she gets her husband to, to what? Pay. To pay the pay, bills pay, 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 pay. this month. Okay, very good. All right, good job. Uh, Albert, Jenny. Give me one example, Jenny. You're muted, Jenny. She get. She gets. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. His son. His son. He gets. She gets his son. To a study. To study. For the test for that test. Okay, good job. Uh, Alberto? Mary has Peter fish the dinner. Fish the dinner, okay. All right, very good. Uh, all right, guys, so I know you have more examples, guys, but uh, what do you think, guys? Is that clear? Easy peasy, right? I just uh, <laughs> no. to know, uh, the example that I made is correct. Go ahead. Uh, it, Don't give me another has, stretch example, man. You always give me stretch examples. No, but this one is the same, but it, he wants to have his wife fix his fridge. It was it like that? He wants to have his bike fridge fix his bridge. Preach. Let me ask you something, man. What do you, what does that mean in your mind? You're saying, dude, you, what you're saying is, all right, quiere que su bicicleta repare su, su refrigerador. Es esposa. Oh, you said wife. Okay, I thought they said bike, man. No. <laughs> yeah, but that, then that's right, okay? It's wife, not bike, okay? He wants his wife. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe the bike is a transformer. Or... Yeah, maybe, you know, like, all right, yeah. You always give me weird examples, Francisco. 
but yeah <laughs> thank you yeah he wants his wife to fix you know the bridge that's that's correct okay that is correct okay good job uh any other question guys before we leave are we good tomorrow guys tomorrow be early guys tomorrow is the last day of the week guys i need two things from you okay i need you to finish the whole i mean you know section one two three and the midterm okay that needs to be finished all right that needs to be finished by that okay 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 the other thing guys is that we well i had a game for today jeopardy do you like jeopardy guys do you remember what jeopardy is i don't know oh my Please. god you don't remember what jeopardy is guys <laughs> The one where you have to choose the category and you get like five hundred dollars. No. Oh my God. Okay. So tomorrow, guys, we're gonna have some practice. Okay. That memory, guys. Okay. But tomorrow we're gonna have some practice and we're gonna play Jeopardy. Okay. So get ready because that's the first thing that we're gonna do as soon as we come here. Okay. Got right, it, guys. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.